There's a lot of movement in retail, uh, particularly in America, but also in Europe and Asia for different reasons. It's a very dynamic sector. Very, very good retailers like Walmart, like Costco, uh, Tesco are opening stores every day. And that creates a lot of movements in the market share. And it forces retailers to rethink what they have to offer with a new competitive environment. On top of that, you have online, the internet developing through uh, internet, through PDAs, through cell phones, through IVRs, so a lot of channels to access customers now. So a big revolution is on the way. In China, we're still in a growth game where it's more about finding location, uh, growing the, 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 the footprint as, as fast as you can, and there are different models for doing that. So one other critical thing is to start with the customers. Make sure they're happy. Make sure that heavy spenders in a specialty retailer, for example, 30% of customers drive 70 to 80 percent of sales and very often more in profits so retaining these customers who are spending often and a lot is critical then we continue to think that there is a big opportunity of growing uh, not only the online business but also the joint business of store and online by cross fertilizing the channels there are a couple good companies doing that, but it's a very small number, and we think there is a big potential if you don't carry the product that the the client wants to buy you won't sell the, 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 the product. It's pretty obvious, but still, you find around that people come to buy something and they exit with the empty hands with very often more than 50% of cases. Having the product is not enough. You also have to have the service associated, the trained salespeople with the right incentives, provide a good customer experience and able to convert and then upsell and sell the warranty and extended warranty to maximize the sales and the profit of the retailer. That's very difficult to get in practice. And it's very hard to copy also other successful retailers because it's what we call the iceberg effect. What you see on shelves is a small part of what a retailer does. There's a lot of complex processes in category management, in pricing, in promo that, that some retailers are better than others at and makes a huge difference to your bottom line. So we are convinced that that's the way of the future, but uh, a lot of work for retailers, no miracle recipe.